So clearly you kicked out the wrong guy. Or Shane Gillis is another great example of that. You're a mm. piece of shit. If you mm. show up as a writer at SNL, we're all going down. I'm not going to let that happen. You stupid idiot, David Duke monster. And what does he do? Just destroy. Like he fucking kills. Yeah. For, when was With a this? YouTube special. Because like, he's like, like, genuinely he talented. To, he had to self-publish like publish a YouTube special. And that went crazy. That's he he, mm-hmm. he he literally pulled himself up by his bootstraps. People want to make it like it's Joe, like he's one of Joe Rogan's guys. That's not the case. He went yeah. on Joe Rogan because he was so famous and popular that Joe wanted him as a guest. Yeah. Joe wasn't there to help him when he was fucked a few years ago. He had to self uh, put out his own special. It did millions and millions of views. And then he got that Netflix deal. And that special is even better. That special is the one with the Navy SEALs, fuck my girlfriend, and yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, all, yeah. all that shit. Like, no, yeah. started or whatever. I didn't and, know the backstory. I, I saw him from the Netflix special. I, I think that's where I, maybe I saw him first, and then Rogan. Mm. Yeah, they, they hired him at SNL and then immediately fired him after some of his older work came up that they didn't like, racist or transphobic or whatever they I wanted mean, to call it. He did a sketch about a fireman who rescues this Mexican family in the East Village, or no, in, in, oh, fuck, was it Harrison, Pennsylvania, or something like that? And uh, then he uses the wrong word, like he says Guatemalan instead of... uh, Yeah. And it keeps getting worse for this guy, and then this investigative crew has a picture of him with uh, a MAGA hat, and uh, he goes (laughs) to a hero at the beginning of the sketch to, like, this racist villain. (laughs) And... it, it was like a magic. It was like God. He a soot on him. He just pulled children from a fire. Yeah. Like he's the hero. He's catching yeah. his breath. We're here with the hero cop. And slowly it devolves when we find out he's conservative too. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you know what's crazy about that? The the fire department that he was representing in that sketch had a proud boy in it. This is afterwards. Afterwards. Haverford. Um and the 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 local politicians say, "Well, you have to get rid of him." And they go, "No, he's a great guy. I don't care what club he's in. And uh, if if you want us to get rid of him, well, then we'll all quit." And then the local municipal council goes, "Okay, then we're shutting down the firehouse." So they shut down the firehouse because the captain of Haverford, Pennsylvania, was in the Proud Boys. And wow. that was what Shane Gillis' sketch was. And in Shane Gillis' sketch, it's the same firehouse. But Shane Gillis <laughs> this controversy. So it's oh. like the guy is so in tune with the zeitgeist Prophetic. that his sketch has become prophecies. <laughs> I tried to look forward to what you Shane SNL. Gillis did. Do you guys know what he actually did? I, I saw two things. One, he did an accent and mispronounced noodles. He said noodles. Oh. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's nothing. Sure. And the other, they said he used an a- anti-Asian slur, and I don't know what it might have been. Well, you know the Asian <laughs> slurs, though. The one that rhymes with. Come on, you bet, Emma, I bet you got a whole list. Come back. Come back. Where are you going? What's your favorite? What is your favorite anti-Asian slur that you've heard? Uh. A good Isn't one. that Koreans? That's Koreans, right? Or slant? I don't. I'm not sure. Actually, uh, I think it came I think from dipping out body bags. So it would be. I, uh, it would be the Vietnam War. See, I oh, thought interesting. It was I thought it was bad. an eye thing. <laughs> no, I thought it was. Uh, I thought Clint Eastwood called those Koreans. As, was I thought he had been in Korea in Gran Torino. I thought right. a um, lot of Korean, that was his war. A lot of Korean War insults were holdovers from Vietnam. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That makes sense. I know that. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. You're gonna re. You're gonna reuse some of those. That makes the sense. Korean War was first, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 50s. So in Korean, when you say "I am," it means I'm Korean, and so they called them. But uh, in Vietnam, they kept that, so they called the Vietnamese too. Really? Ah, and yeah. then it just kind of spread, and now it's just a catch-all. That's the beauty of racial epithets. They're inaccurate. That's why I like them. Like, oh like yeah, you call someone from India. Up, it, you're just like I don't care. Oh, he said, uh, I saw it right there. He's he said Dude, some some of the funniest racism I've right. seen online is like a Japanese guy and a Vietnamese guy like at each other's throats. <laughs> like like no, nah, you are inferior, and they'll be like, "Fuck <laughs> you, you suck." Like <laughs> they have old beefs. Though. We beat the Koreans you in were Battle enslaving of them. Nonya in 1419. Do you know like, the Koreans were enslaving their neighbors for generations? For 
They that's that, they, are, are they, they like bragging they, about that still? Like we oh, we well, I don't think they brag about it. I'm just letting you know they might have some legitimate beef over there we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, dude. Another good like racist battle to see on Twitter is like Africans and African Americans battling it out. That they don't care be for one another. Sometimes they do not care for one another. No, dude, I had Africans Nigerian not friends. Care for them. Dude, I, I when I, I worked with that that Nigerian guy and that guy from uh, Somalia, they did not like Americans. You know, black Americans. Liberals are so isolated that they they don't know Africans and they don't know blacks. So they come up with dumb phrases like African Americans. Like anyone from Kenya doesn't hate every black person in Brooklyn. And <laughs> they, yeah. they just like you're colored and I love you. And they're like, no, they hate each other. Everything is balkanized. Like the Scots hate the English, hate the Irish, mm -hmm. hate the Spanish. Germany and Spain hates each other's guts. This whole idea of like power, supremacy. The Spanish fascists hate British fascists. Yeah. There's no unity in it. Canada hates America. America doesn't even think of Canada. Uh, <laughs> That's true. They're kind of a side note. We mostly feel like, bad for you, you lately. That, I'm like, Canada hates America? I didn't know that. Yeah, we root know. for you, but lately we feel like it's it's not going well over there. That that guy who's in charge, I keep hearing that he might be related to Castro. Castro's kid, uh, yeah. Zoolander? <laughs> <laughs> he does kind of look like that. He's a Zoolander oh. prime minister, and he is Fidel Castro's son. Or Quebec hates Canada. Uh, upstate New York hates New York City, and that's why they wave Confederate flags. Th th that doesn't mean, like, I hope the South rises again. Confederate flags in upstate New York means, yo, they have the same accent as New Yorkers. They're like, yo, I fucking hate Manhattan. Don't I know I'm from New York. <laughs> I want you to know that Manhattan and the five boroughs can fucking sink into the sea. <laughs> I'm up here in fucking Buffalo, and those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Zach is from around Buffalo, and he said that's very true just now. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't like. So this that, idea that there's like racial cohesion, not really. Mm -mm. Yeah, now, what do you think about the proposition of another civil war? It's kind of wild that mm -hmm. Texas is doing their own thing, um, not taking down the wire. And I keep seeing where various states are sending units that they have under their control, state guard units, state patrol units, border units that they have. They have all sorts of fiefdoms under their control, but they're sending token units. Who's At the very the least, governors from those states uh, are supporting. Texas. I saw, I saw um, governors, but I also saw maybe like a police captain or something who was like, "We're sending Pete and Little Dave to the border." <laughs> and it was like, right, it reminded so me of that Fregosian pro Texas people. Not yeah, it federal. reminded me of that. Okay. It reminded me of that Fregosian video uh, in Ukraine. He was the the Wag Wagner uh, mm -hmm. like head when he had like those two grunts, and he's like, "We just took Bakhmut." Fucking Sergey and Dimitri here. They were spearheading the operation. It's hmm. these two knuckleheads who are clearly like, I don't want to be on global television. <laughs> so like, this is bad for me. <laughs> this is so bad for me and my potato farm. <laughs> <laughs> They're roasting me on Twitter. <laughs> I am getting absolutely butt fucked by black Twitter right now. <laughs> they are going in on my dirty shoes. <laughs> <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> Had his fake light AK mags. <laughs>